something else that's brilliant. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't write <laughs> he's that. He's right, he's <laughs> <laughs> Mark, how are you? <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Uh, I'm great, and we've got a great recipe for you, a gluten-free cake. We're going to make a carrot cake, so it's full of like ingredients. We've got carrots, apples, oranges, we've got all these spices here, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, uh, some crunchy walnuts and some sultanas in there. It's going to be fantastic, and Holly is going to be over the moon. But I've just remembered we're going to make a cream cheese icing for the top, and we've got lots of butter in there, so she won't be able to eat it. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> Anyway, a little bit later, I'm going to show you how to make this cake and decorate it. Back in my favourite place with my favourite man, Mark, back in the cafe kitchen. Uh, and we're making something Holly can actually eat as long as we don't put the icing on. Yeah, I've noticed that our cream cheese and butter has gone missing. Ah, actually. well spotted. Yeah. I'll, I'll some find more it from for the you. Back, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we're starting off with a what? bit of shell in the egg. No. You took it out? Nice. Yeah, don't want any shell. So I've just got some eggs, so I'm just going to yep. uh, just whisk them together. Yep. Just break them all up and then we're going to pop the sugar in and just keep whisking. I love a good carrot cake. What is the secret? Is it the carrot or is it the oil? What do you reckon? Well, it needs to be the carrot being a carrot yes. cake, but it's the oil. So the right. oil in the carrot cake will keep it nice and moist. Nice. And then, you, you know, you need to have enough spices in there. If you're going to yeah. put spices in there, put them in, you know. Ooh, you want yeah. to be able to taste them. Nice work. So you've put egg and brown sugar in there now, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yep. so brown sugar goes in there. So I'm just um, breaking it up. Just make sure you haven't got any big lumps in there. Right, and then we want to, we're going to get some orange zest in there, so you can yep. zest an orange, okay, and then cool. cut it in half, and then you can put the juice in as well. Okay, nice. We're going to start building up all these flavours in here. Is that a big enough zesting size? Oh, uh, you can go a little bit bigger if you oh, want. That's all right. Cool. Nice, nice bit of okay, texture then. in there is good. Oh, um, good. You know, we're going to grate oh, carrot, yeah, carrot like and apple that. in there as well. So we've got some spices. So cinnamon, ginger, allspice, and nutmeg. Mm. Yeah, going in there, so you know, classic flavours. It's still really we can popular, smell it isn't now. it? Oh, carrot cake. People love it. Oh, it's going to be one of my favourites. I love carrot cake. Okay, is that enough zest? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Go. Yep. No, that's good. Okay, cool. So cut that in half. half. Okay. Right, and then we've got our oil in there. So it seems quite a lot of oil in there. Well, it's quite a lot of oil in there. <laughs> but once <laughs> you bake it, it's going to that's going to keep it nice and moist. Yep. You want that? Juice in there as well. Yep. Okay. It's quite hard to squeeze when you take the skin off, isn't it? Okay. We've <laughs> <laughs> got nothing to grip onto. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is good. Right, and then I've got. Uh, so then we've got our gluten-free flour, self-raising flour. Okay. So I'm just going to sieve that into there. So you don't need gluten-free, but if you want it gluten-free. Yeah, if you want it gluten-free, obviously use the right. uh, gluten-free flour. You don't need to. Okay. Um, obviously helps if you are gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to mix that through. And then we've got some walnuts. So if you just want to just uh, chop them down, yep. just into some nice pieces. OK. That'll sort of uh, slowly complete, uh, complete. Oh, God. <laughs> complete <laughs> You're making mix. a mess. It's all right. It's going to be worth it. I know. I, I do find when you're baking, if you make the more of a mess you make, the better Bit it tastes. Good, OK. It does, yeah. I don't know. He might not, might not agree with me, but... <laughs> the I, I find that. Going and on this is going to taste fantastic. No, it is. Everything you make is always good. Right, so we've got the sultanas in there. Beautiful. Got the uh, nuts in there. And then just want to grate the uh, carrots okay. and an apple as well. And we're going to get that in there and then we're going to pop it in our tin. So we've just got a tin here. We've just uh, buttered it around the outside. A little bit more flour on there. And then just done some grease proof, uh, like a cartouche, uh, on the base. So that's going to help our cake come out. Okay, nice. So sultanas, cool. yeah. put your walnuts, walnuts in. Yeah. Of course, you need carrot and a carrot cake, don't you? She said smelling good. It's so good, but you know, get get those spices in there. You want to be able to smell them now. And as it bakes, it's going to release all those uh, flavours. Okay. I'm nice and fluffy, and it's going to be, you know, full of texture, sweetness, spice in there. Mm. You know, and we'll have this beautiful cream cheese icing on there. Nice work. On the top. And then we've got an apple as well, which we're going to grate and pop in there. Okay, cool. How much carrot do you want? Both these carrots? Yeah, a couple of carrots and the apple. And then fold all the carrots through here, pop it in, and then pop it in the oven about 180 degrees for about sort of 30, 40 minutes. We're running out of time. Is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> quicker, Mike, quicker. <laughs> what angle are you shooting this at? This could look really dodgy. Okay. Right, and we need to get the apple in there too. Yeah. Okay. 
Right, well, that'll do. First, though, we need to finish off this carrot cake. So your mixture, you've got there, you've got your carrot, we've got your apple, and everything else we put in there, and you're just mixing it up. Yeah, so just mix it up. Looks good. If you like, you can put a pinch of salt in. Oh, yeah. You don't need to. It's nice, just brings out the flavours. Nice. We're going to pop it into okay. our um, cake tin. Yep. And, and then get it in the oven and nice. just bake it. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. You could probably just eat it like that. I, I, I probably could. I'll save that for you later. Nice, thanks. I'll look at it. OK, so now we need to do the icing. This is the all-important bit. Right, icing. So uh, soft butter, room yep. temperature. Get it into a bowl. Give it a whisk up so it's nice yep. and smooth, as Mike's been doing. Yep. And then we're going to put some bit of uh, icing sugar in there. So whisk all that in. OK, cool. Whoops. And... Um... OK. Oh, there you go. She's mixing up nicely now. There you go. So keep whisking it so it's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. It's all in. I've just got an orange zest here now. I'm going to pop some of that in. OK, good. This is looking good. Get all that icing sugar off the side. And what are we putting in? The orange, orange, zest. orange zest in there. Brilliant. Right, and then once it's all nice and smooth and, and whipped up, yeah. even whip it so it gets a little bit paler. OK. <laughs> I'm going to go pale if I keep whipping. <laughs> OK. OK, that's perfect. OK. Right, once you get to that stage, cream cheese, yeah. pop that in, whisk all that up. <laughs> <laughs> that was holly booing. <laughs> so get your, uh, get your cake in the oven, bake it, uh, stick a wooden skewer in there, and when it comes out clean, you know it's cooked, take it out, let it rest for about five, ten minutes in the mould, and then you can demould it. And then a little tip for you, because it sort of can rise unevenly, flip it over, and then pop it onto a board like that, and that's what we've done. So you've got the uneven side at the bottom, so you've got a nice flat cake like that. So that's that's chilled down. Are we finished? Mm. You can give it a bit of a stir up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Holly, do you want to try some icing? Oh, no, sorry, you can't. <laughs> oh. Um, recipecafe.co.nz. Thank you to everybody when they try Mark's recipes. You go and put it on our Facebook page. We really enjoy that. Keep that going. And if you haven't given us a like yet on Facebook, please do. All right, so just going to loosen up that um, icing. Yeah. Right. What are you doing now? Uh, well, you're going to decorate I'm it. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> okay, fine. I've never done this before. Okay, so um, there's a knife. Yeah. And there's the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. So make it look pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This Actually, can be... you can have the spoon because I do need the knife. OK, nice. Right, and then I've got some more walnuts as well, so I'm just going to chop those, get a bit of texture and garnish on the top. I'm going to have a little bit more lemon zest and some chocolate. No carrot cake is complete without a little bit of chocolate on top, which we're just going to grate over once Mike has <laughs> decorated it. It's OK, it's going good. No, this is quite good. nice and fluffy, this icing. Is that good? Yeah, no, it's good. Okay, I need a bit more on there. Oh, the smells so divine. And is it still going to be nice and moist when we cut her open? Yeah, yeah no, it's going to be, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully. And what's the secret to getting it like that? Don't overcook it. Well, don't overcook it, but you've got to make sure it is cooked. So you just want to okay. do that skewer technique. Okay. But then it's the oil in the mix, which yep. is going to keep it nice and uh, moist. Okay. Okay, geez, I'm not very good at spreading oh, icing around, am I? <laughs> I've got a big beer patch. I, I was going to say, have you done that before? But was <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> I usually just buy cakes. And then... Look at that. <laughs> Where's the chocolate? Where's the chocolate? I'm trying to make it look better. Just tie it up. So... <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yum! And then a little bit of chocolate over the top. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that beauty. Beautiful. Love and then it. you've got a nice bit of orange going all the way through. So oh, not those. Nice. Bits. Okay. A little bit of orange on top. And nice. there you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs>